Hi everyone, how's it going? Many people have become interested in learning about cloud computing and starting a career in the field of cloud engineering. So now people ask the question, is cloud computing difficult to learn? The short and simple answer to this question is that no, it is not difficult to learn cloud engineering or cloud computing, provided you know one takes a cloud computing uh, certification course, they can learn all the core concepts and topics of cloud computing in a very you know short amount of time. AWS Cloud Practitioner is the first exam that anyone could take you know uh, before going into more specialized uh, certificates i took this exam after two weeks of preparation when i was you know starting my journey uh, to the cloud so in this video it's all about um this exam you know covering why you should um take this exam resources i used to start how i designed my start plan you know for two weeks <laughs> so useful tips and tricks you know to pass this exam So welcome back to the Taxi Mastery. Why you should take this exam? You know, so if you want to enter into the cloud computing world and to get to know what AWS offers and you are from a non-tech background, you should take this exam and to get you know to know all the top level details of the AWS. For example, uh, if you are a manager or a product owner or a any other non-tech role or a student this is a very good uh, certification for you you know even for the tech guys you know this is a very good exam to take if you don't have any experience with uh, cloud technologies the certification gives you a great deal you know of knowledge and skills necessary to effectively uh, demonstrate an overall understanding of the aws cloud independently uh, uh, of specific you know technical roles addressed by other aws certifications so this one is very good so do you have any prerequisites <laughs> no there are no prerequisites you know for this exam but um it is recommended that you should have at least you know six months of um experience with with, um, AWS Cloud in any role, including technical, managerial, sales, or purchasing, or financial. You know, you should just have uh, the basic uh, understanding of IT services and um, their association with cloud uh, platform. So now let's talk about about the exam. So there are two types of questions um, uh, in the exam: multiple choice, which is one correct answer and three incorrect answers and uh, multiple answers which have multiple uh, correct answers. So this exam reports on a scale of minimum you know 100 and maximum 1000 with a passing score of 700. So there is some unscored content on the exam as well which will be used for statistical purposes you have 90 minutes you know to complete and the cost for this exam is 100 US dollars uh, the exam tests on this topic based on the start guide you know like um, this cloud concept 20% and there's security 24% there's technology which covers 36% and there's billing and pricing which covers 12% you know so resource I used uh, to start now there are multiple great resources out uh, on the internet you can use you know to start for this exam but i'll be providing some of the courses that i thought were the most useful and the one that i really that really helped me first aws certification cloud production exam 2020 by uh nail devs on udem summed up everything you need to know uh, perfectly but uh, what i liked about this um course was how devs explained everything in extremely simple terms you know however while it was simple it still you know you know went in depth enough to cover everything you need to know as a teenager who had no poor experience with aws i found it extremely beneficial and convenient uh, when he explained everything with uh, extreme detail in a straightforward uh, manner so another good course is from aws cloud practitioner by uh stephen merrick he's good so <laughs> Pick anyone and you are good to move to uh, to the practice test. Then after completing the video course, I took um, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, which was with 500, you know, practice questions uh, by uh, the NIO devs again on Udem. You know, I, I would say that this specific course and its practice questions were one of the most important thing that um, helped me, you know, to pass because many of the questions that um, 
appeared uh, on the 500 set practice tests also showed up uh, on the actual exam uh, which you know definitely made it a lot easier <laughs> before realizing the nail devs course worked best for me uh, i jumped around from calls to calls you know quite a lot and this was actually uh, a quite a beneficial so now let's move on how i designed my start plan so day one to day four i spend about uh two to three hours you know each day you know to get the aws video training completed this is the actual time spent on studying not including breaks now the training is about 12 hours long you know but i was taking notes and screenshots as i was going through the training to help me you know to revise later and the extra hours now day five i revised you know the training and gave the training test you know got the completion certificate felt overjoyed and then day six to day ten went through all aws overview white papers at a you know slower pace in this too much uh, you know content remember 185 services pegged in these 95 pages uh, so a few sections would be a uh, repeat of what you would have already you know covered uh, in the uh, aws training so then day 11 to day 13 i revised my training notes and white papers and took five practice tests there I had to reread sections on the pricing, support plans, you know, shared responsibility models and well architected framework, which uh, is I was, you know, getting <laughs> many of those questions wrong, you know. And then day 14, I took my test. So I hope you have found some clarity about um, the exam. Um, so now let's move on to useful tips and tricks, you know, so download uh, the study guide I've shared the link below and go through well, you know, the paper this makes you remember, you know um, um, Things and important concept and then the second thing start your uh, your AWS free tier account and practice what you have learned uh, This helps with you know <laughs> uh, With your muscle memory, you know, and then three uh, note down some important concept or maintain flashcards uh, as you prepare for the exam so that you go through uh, these before uh, the exam you know so now the conclusion that I have for you this is not a, a difficult exam and you don't have to go through the concept in depth you know getting familiar with um, the concept is um, enough you know for this exam I know it's quite a huge list uh, with all those topics but you should not you know uh, underestimate the exam questions um some of them are really you know tricky <laughs> like let's say when you have to choose uh, the biggest uh, advantage of using cloudwatch and all the listed options are actually you know very very <laughs> big advantages or when you have to choose you know the cheapest uh, solution for storing the images in the cloud for example you know pay attention you know to details and take your time you know you have 90 minutes for 65 questions so the time i think it's more than enough so also you can mark flag the questions when you are unsure about um, the answers and get back to them later so there's no need to panic you know you can go through the exam questions in 30 to 40 minutes so if you're well prepared you know and you still have enough good time you know to review your flagged uh, questions uh, what more can i say so good luck uh, and let me know how well you scored at the exam don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to ring the notification bell. As always, keep on skiing in the tech world.